Yes. First job tracker submit the job method. Call yes, calling is sub. Then calling is assigning one ID to particular job. Then try the metadata. Then try check the output path. Job tracker checking the output path. Then job tracker adding jars and supporting files. Then step four, our notes information. Step five. Once then after the step five, send the jobs to task tracker. Task tracker submit the jobs into debt notes. Once task tracker submit the jobs into debt notes, submission completed. What happened immediately? Yes, immediately task tracker yes map reducing work started. What is map reducing work? For example, simple again same requirement. I want to count each and every word how many times repeating. This is my requirement. So mapper go and read the data from the data node. Go and reading the data from the data nodes. Applying map mapping logic. How to read by the first splitting concept is there? This splitting concept read the data. Apply mapping logic. This mapping logic completed. Mapper give the output. That output go into the reducer input. Then reducer will buffer the data. Reduce the data. Then finally give the output. When reducing logic completed, we get the final output. So this is the map reducing framework. In our last class, we discussed it. Before map reducing, uh, large scale data processing was difficult. If I want to process huge volume of data, managing hundreds or thousands of processors is required. Managing parallelization, we want to manage parallelization and distributions. I was scheduling, status and monitoring, fault and cache tolerance. Okay, so we want to do everything manually, but a single map reducing provide all of this easily. A map reducing is a software framework for easily writing applications which process vast amount of data in parallel on large clusters, commodity hardware and commodity hardware. That means it is one of the framework for easily writing the application which process vast amount of data. For example, I have vast amount of data is there. Those data I want to process parallelly on large clusters in commodity hardware. Yes, by using map reducing you can do it. Basically, this map reducing framework inspired by Google. Those guys are first Google guys are working parallelly. Used by Google. A combination of mapping and reducing models with an associated implementation. We call them map reduce application. Okay. A map reduce is highly scalable and can be used across many computers and answer all the problems mentioned earlier. What problems we mentioned earlier? Because like a parallel processing processors. I was scheduling, status and monitoring, everything, what are the problems is there? All these problems we can resolve it by using map reading concept. Many com many small missions can be as can be used to process jobs that normally could not be processed by the large missions. This programming model by using Java you can write it, by using Python, Ruby, R programming, so many OOPS concepts is supporting OOPS concept programs are supported nowadays. By writing this map reading concept. But as of now, most of the folks are writing this map reading application by using Java concept only. And some more real time use cases uh, which you guys are using for which purpose? Google. Uh, Google using for index building for Google search, article cluster for Google News, statistical machine translations. This is the purpose. Yahoo index building, spam detection for this purpose, Yahoo guys are using. Facebook data mining, ad optimization, spam detection. For this purpose, as map reading guys are using uh, for this, uh, using different different areas. And what do you mean by mapper? Map reading is a combination of map and reduce. So what do you mean by mapper? What do you mean by reducer? Yes, see here. Mapper means is read the data from the debt node as a key value pair. So in this diagram also what happened? Data reading from debt node as a key value pair. So what it is, this is a splitting concept. Mapper, if once task tracker submit the job, task tracker, task tracker submit the job, immediately, immediately map is work started. Yes, how to decide key and what is a key and what is a value again? Mappers may use or ignore a key. The key is a byte offset into the file which line starts from the positions and values the context of the line itself that means here one important point is the important point is the mapper read the data from the data node by the alpha splitting i agree what format it is reading 
input format it is there. Depends on the input format, key value pairs are decided. Important point, I am repeating. I am repeating. Yes, mapper read the data from the data node. Mapper read the data from the data node by the as a key value pair. As a key value pair. Okay, cool. How to read the data? Depends on the formats is there. We have some concept is there. Input formats. These are the file input formats. Number of is there. Combined file input format. Whole file input format. Test input format. Key value test input format. Like this number of input formats is there. By default input format is test input format. If you are not specifying any input format. Map, mapper read the data from the data node as a test input format. If I decided test input format, then automatically keys and values are decided. The keys is the byte offset. So test input format, the key is the long writable, the byte offset within the file of the being of the line is called a key. For example, this is my data. This data I want I'm deciding I want to read as a test input format. Then 0 is the key, 33 is the key, 57 is the key, 89 is the key. Byte offset code. And entire line, remaining line is the value. On top of the complete tree, uh, the remaining data, complete line is the value. And similarly, we have some other formats is there. Key value test input format. Key value test input format. What do you mean by key value test input format? If I decided my data is, I want to read the data from the data node as a key value. I mean mapper. Mapper want to read the data. I decided according to convenient key value test input format is my input format. Then automatically keys and values are decided according to the input format. And line input format. Stream input format. Sequence file input format. Yes, sequence file input format. Yeah, little bit important. Come after test format, then sequence input format is input. Uh, uh, some important. So if I decided my data is the sequence input format, sequence file input format, then keys and values are determined by the sequence file. You need to make sure that the, your map input type corresponded corresponded value here. So depends on the input format. Mapper read the data. So mapper read the data according to the input format. Keys and values are decided. At the same time. Mapper give the output also. At the same time, reducer also give the output. We have number of output formats also available. These are all file input formats. Number of is there. Then file output format. File output formats also. Number of file output formats are available. The first one is a test output format. This is a by default one again. By default output format is the test output format. Okay, here also the byte offset code is a key or remaining data is the value and sequence file output format sequence file as binary output format map output format like this number of output formats is there according to the output formats keys and values are decided keys and values is read the data format actually uh, key and value format again a concept for example this is my data on the top of the commentary tree the coring long search, something like this is my data. And what is the key and what is the value? Here, yeah, 0 is the key and remaining data is the value. This is complete data is the value. 33 is the key and the remaining data is the value. So, what do you mean by key? How to decide 0 or 33 or 57 and this is the data? Because here, key is the byte abstract code. Keys are unique values. Keys are unique values, values may be duplicate, but keys are unique. So if I decide testing to format, byte asset code, what do you mean by byte offset? Byte offset means the line starting position and remain data as a value. Uh, for example, just for understanding, key value test input format. Key value test input format is a my input format. So what is the key and what is the value? Yes, here, unlike test input format, keys is the offset within the file. Keys are also actual values within the file. Keys are also va actual values within the file. See, for example, line 1, comma, complete data. Line 2, comma, complete data. Line 3, comma, complete data. Like this, keys, here, keys are line 1. 
entered it as a value. And similarly, I decided key value of test output format. Then line one comma remind data, line two comma remind data. Like that, keys and values are decided. The mapper, what is the mapper is there? Those mapper reading the data accordingly. Okay, just imagine like a milk example. I want to drink a milk. According to convenient, kids may be convenient in maybe bottles. They take the milk through bottle. Then the milk is adjusting automatically bottle shape. I'm taking as a, a glass, glass shape. Okay, we are reading, we are drinking those milk accordingly. Similarly, mapper read the data accordingly. Internally, this is a happen. We don't know, for example, if you submit a high query in the front end, RP query front end. But behind the screen, this is the work is going on. It is reading the data, applying mapping logic automatically. Applying mapping logic automatically. Automatically means according to our goal, is suggesting mapping data or reducing data. And after that, coming to the red user. Yes, after map is completed, then similar red user also. After map is completed, all intermediate values are combined together for the given intermediate key into the list. Okay, that means simply all a uh, map is completed, that output, map or output, we are taking as a reducer input. We are taking reducer as input, uh, a reducer, the map or output is a reducer input. In this reducer, major three phases is there. Short and shuffle phases is there. Short and shuffle and reducer phases is there. Be after mapper, before reducer, the shorting and shuffling phases are running. The responsibility of the shorting and shuffling phases is short the data and shuffle the data. See the diagram. Mapper 1, deer, beer, river 1 is there. Car, car, river is there. Deer, car, beer is there. This data, we are moving to the reducer input, shuffling input. So here, all beers are coming in one box. All cars in one box. All these in one box, reverse in comes in one box. So data is aggregating accordingly. Those data were combined here, and we get the final output. Right? So before integer, shuffling and shorting stage is there. After this stage is completed, the final output coming to the reducing stage. Then here reduce the data, finally you get the output. So the output also, the output also again the same. Depends on the output format, output format, uh, yes, output type, the formats are depending. Okay, similarly, test output format is the by default one, remaining output formats also available. Okay, a simple example, just for your understanding, I want more outputs. Simply, general into I'm also asking this type of questions. For example, I want output as a two files. Generally, if you give the output, once you see the general output, it will be there in one file only. Generally, if you see the map of this output, it will be there in one output file only. But I want two files. I hope my question is clear. What are the output is there that I want in two files. So how can I do it? Here, output format is there. No? Multiple output formats is there. One of the file is there. Output format. Then what happened? How many output formats we are deciding? That output formats file will be displayed like this. Say so simply answer. It is possible. Yes, it's possible by using multiple output format. By help of this class, you can generate the output formats in more than one class. Then next, next important question: How many mappers are running? How many reducers are running? How many maps in a map reducing code? Generally, usually, how many maps and how many reducers are there in map reducing code? Usually, as many as number of HFS blocks being processed, that is the default one. As many as number of mappers running, that number, as many as number of blocks is there, that is a by default number of mappers are running in any map reducing code. By default, as many as number of mappers, that number of reducers are running. Okay, by default, automatically configured. This is the formula internally configured 0 0.95 into number of nodes into map reduce dot toss tracker dot toss dot maximum. That number of reducers are configured. At the same time, you can configure number of reducers also. Here, one condition is there again. Condition is 
usually we configure the number of reducers are not more than number of mappers. Obviously, mappers are more than reducers, and reducers are less than mappers, at least one. That is the con condition here. Let's see how to configure. We have some word count problem. Large quantity of the documents is there. Count the number of times each distinct word occurs in the documents. What approach you are following this word count, divide and conquer. Just for understanding, just I'm initiating with the word, word count. Then we'll go to some advanced concepts. So map reducing flow. This is input file. This is the output file. This is the number of mappers is there. Number of mappers are decided. Then shuffling and shorting. Then reducing phases. Reducers is there. Two reducers. Reduce the data. We get the output. Okay. Again, same story. Yes. Mapper reading. Yes. See this one. Input file. Input format. Input format. Internal input split is there. Okay, those in, according to input, input split is a logical one. Input format, read the data to mapper. By the, yeah, mapper read the data by the help of input format, splitting, read the data, and that mapper output is intermediate data. That intermediate data go into the reducer. But before reducer, again here shuffling stage is there. Shuffling stage. Internal shuffling stage, again some concepts is there. Partition as components is coming here. So once shuffling completed, that output go to the reducer. Common, not only word count, any problem, any problem. This is the architecture. First mapper read the data from the data node by the help of input input file, input format. Same way, same architecture is running. Internal same architecture. Any problem? Then reducer completed, we get the output.